In this video, we are discussing a very important concept that is a replica sets and its criteria. Now, what is a replica set? A replica set is actually collection of multiple MongoD applications who are working on the same data set. So, replica set is nothing but collection of multiple MongoD applications who are running on the same data set. Out of this multiple MongoD applications, one application will be treated as the primary and rest of them will be treated as the secondary. Read and write operations will be at first will be landed at the, the primary MongoD application and then replications will be done on the secondary, but sometimes some read operations can also directly access the secondary MongoD. So, let us go for some further discussions with diagrams regarding the topic that is the replica sets and its criteria. So, here we are having one diagram. The replica set is basically a group of MongoD applications that work on same data set. In a replica set, there is only one primary MongoD instance and others are secondary. So, only one primary and multiple secondary nodes will be there. The primary instance takes the read write requests from the client and it sends the modification details to the respective secondary instances. So, just consider this diagram. Here we are having the client application running. Through this driver, the read write requests or the operations will be done with the primary MongoD instance and this primary MongoD instance will put the replication details to the secondary MongoD instances. And what about the modifications, updations or deletions, whatever is taking place due to the purpose of this read write operations, then though that, that modifications are to be reflected, are to be conveyed to this secondary MongoD instances. So, only one primary instance and more than one, at least one or more than one secondary instances will be there and that is known as the replica set. What are the features of the replica set? A replica set is a collection of n different nodes and the number of n can be anything from 2, 3 and so on. So, at least 2 nodes must be there and we can have the 3 nodes, 4 nodes and so on. So, replica set is nothing but a collection of n number of different nodes. Among these n nodes, only one node will be the primary instance and rest n minus 1 nodes will be for the secondary instance. For the instances of the replica set, read and write operations goes to the primary node. You can easily find that these read write operations are going to the primary node. And then sometimes the read operations only read not write. Only read operations may perform on the secondary nodes also, but write operations must be performed on the primary node only. So, here we are having the restrictions that read and write will be done on the primary, sometimes only read operations can directly access the secondary instances. Just consider this respective figure, we can find that we are having multiple MongoD uh, applications are running here and you can find that only one is primary and rest of them are secondary. So, a cluster of n nodes, this is a cluster of n nodes are there, any one node can be primary. So, that is no priority, any one of the nodes can be primary. All write operations goes to the primary as we have mentioned earlier. Then automatical, automatic failover, automatic failover means what? If the primary nodes goes down, then any one of the rest secondary nodes will be treated as a primary node. So, election will take place so that the respective secondary node will be treated as a primary node after failure of the current primary node. So, automatic failover. Next one is automatic recovery and next one is consensus election of primary. So, in this way the things will take place. If the primary node goes down, the process selects another node as a primary to overcome the problem. So, out of the rest secondary nodes, one of the nodes will be selected as a primary. These process are done automatically. So, MongoDB has automatic failover and recovery mechanism. The MongoDB choose the primary node from the secondary nodes by an election mechanism. So, the as in the, the way in which we select our ministers. So, in the same way out of the secondary nodes, one of the nodes will be treated as a will be selected as a primary through this election mechanism. When the primary node goes down, 
then the available secondary nodes go, goes for the respective election process. So, in this way, these are the different what is that replica sets and its different criteria we have discussed with a proper diagram in this video. Thanks for watching this.